talk about the GearHead Disruptor 24 Pro. Now, first off, I promise you this is not a toy, despite its dinky appearance and some what some of my friends do refer to it affectionately as the Erector Set Bow. It is a legitimate hunting bow. Let me read off my cheat sheet here. I'll give you some stats. It's a 24.625 axle to axle bow, 26 to 30 inch draw length adjustments and half inch increments, 4.25 pounds mass weight, IBOs at 330 feet a second, has a let off up to 85% and has a six and a half inch brace height. A couple more things that's not mentioned on my card. It has a three position string post in the cam. So there's an A, B, and C position. A is speed, excuse me, and it'll add an extra four to six pounds to your overall draw weight and will be a nasty fast bow. There is the B position, which is what it comes standard from the factory. And that's kind of your mid-level comfort and performance setting, which is what we'll be reviewing on in this video. And then there's the C setting, which is your comfort setting. It's a very, very interesting bow. Uh, oh, another thing is it's got limb stops and it's got string stops. The limb stops have 26 positions to adjust. And what this is for is adjusting your let off micro and like micro tuning your let off for exactly what you want. So there's a whole lot of things going on with this bow. Another thing this bow is ambidextrous with eight bolts and flip flopping a few things. I can turn a right handed bow into a left-handed bow. So it's got a ton of options. The grips, it's got, the company has, I think, six different grip styles. This is the standard grip you see on the bow here, but there's also a flat back. There's a 1911 style grip. There's a multitude of options. There's a target style grip, I believe. I don't even remember them all. So there's a lot going on with this little bow that allows you to really dial in and customize exactly what you want. Now, this particular model is a 65 to 75 pound bow. For the purpose of testing in this video, it's going to be set at 75 pounds and 28 inch draw length. Okay, so there's a lot of buildup initially. Getting that cam to roll over is kind of rough. After the initial buildup, it's fairly smooth and then you've got another hump to get over to get it back into the valley and get the bow all the way back. The back wall is really solid, especially having that limb stop and a string stop both. Um, the bow actually holds a lot better than I thought. For a 24 inch axle to axle bow, I would have expected way worse holding. The shot feels nice. Uh, next to no hand vibration that I can tell. And the only thing extra I've added is the whisker biscuit style rest. Uh, matter of fact, keep that in mind when we do the speed, the, the chronograph testing later, because you usually lose anywhere from two to four feet a second from a whisker biscuit. So next to no hand vibration. Um, it doesn't feel like a 24 inch axle to axle bow. The string angle, I'm, I really don't like the string angle. That's where it feels like a 24 inch axle to axle. It's really real uh, sharp. I think is the best best word I have to describe it. It's a real sharp string angle, so I can't get corner of the mouth and tip of the nose. And that's a really big deal to me. I don't like to shoot things where I can't get both. But it doesn't come in on you like a shorter axle to axle bow. So it's a pretty stable platform. I'm actually impressed. Normally I don't like anything under a 33 inch axle to axle, and this still does pretty well. One thing that surprised the crap out of me is I really like that grip. Uh, generally speaking, I'm a flat back style grip shooter. That's my preference, but this thing just fits in my hand well and it holds well. I think it's really repeatable. So I'm very impressed with that. Not what I expected, but, but pleasantly surprised. Now I have played around with this bow before this review. I carry them here in my shop. So I've spent time with them, playing with them, understanding them a little bit before I ever started this. Cause I feel like doing a brand new or doing a review on a bow right out of the box that I have no experience with is disingenuous. I can't really tell you the things I like and don't like if I don't play with it a little bit beforehand. And again, as of right now, the two biggest things are 75 pounds is freaking rough, which it can be dialed down. And uh, the draw cycle, not the greatest, not my favorite. It's like I said, bunch of build up right up front and then right at the back. So build up and then right there at the end too. 
Again, not my favorite draw cycle. It does hold surprisingly well though. This impresses the crap out of me. And even trying to torque it, there's not a whole lot I can do. And then not having put it on a decibel meter, it sounds relatively quiet at the shot. Yeah, so again, the biggest things for me is the rough draw cycle and that can be fixed potentially by moving into the post. That's one thing I've not done yet is went through the different post options and felt how they feel. This is factory and that's how I wanted to review it is how you would get it out of the factory. So I'm curious as I play with this bow more to see how the different post selections, string post selections feel. This is the 429 grain arrow. Five hundred and one grain arrow. Alrighty, I've got my handy dandy decibel meter here. I'm gonna step back away from the target as far as I can to try to not get any splash noise or hit noise from the target. And I'm going to turn the sucker on and we'll see what we get. I get it. You're looking at this thing and you're going, it's short, it's ugly. It's weird. I don't like it. Well, I'm all those things too, but you're here watching me. So I think you should at least give it a fair shake. I'm not gonna tell you that you're gonna love it. I'm not gonna say this is the bow for everybody. What I am gonna say is it actually surprised the crap out of me. I generally don't like anything under a 33 inch axle to axle because it feels like the limbs come in on you too far. I don't have that problem with this bow surprisingly. The string angle is still pretty sharp and leaves something to be desired, but I don't think you can really get around that with a short bow. It's in the same vein to me as like the 28 inch Matthews Triax. Actually, I think that 28 inch Triax was a little worse than this. And I, I don't know how, but I really feel that way. The grip on this surprised the crap out of me. I usually like flat back styles, but this fits my hand really well. It's really stable. Uh, that's the other thing that surprised me. At full draw, this is a really stable platform. Usually I like longer axle to axle bows because they're more forgiving. This was relatively forgiving. Even trying to torque it, I, I couldn't get a whole lot of torque out of it. And it, I mean, it sat really well at full draw. Limb stops are awesome. Uh, the draw cycle left some to be desired, but we're talking 75 pounds. And again, there's a comfort setting in here that I have not played with. So I'm missing a little bit of information and it's five pounds more than what I'm used to shooting. I usually shoot 70 pounds. So that could be why I feel like this draw cycle is pretty rough. If you're in the Lincoln area, it's central Illinois area, you can come into the shop, you can check one of these out for yourself. I recommend at least finding a dealer and shooting one. If not for any other reason, then it's fun. Uh, but I think you'd be surprised. Again, I'm in the Lincoln area, 622 North Chicago Street, Lincoln, Illinois. If you wanna come in, if you wanna meet me, you wanna hang out, shoot some of the bows we have on the walls, play around, I'd be happy to meet you and talk with you. If you want one of these for yourself, but can't come in and see me, shoot me an email. The email's in the description below and we can get you one sent out, set up, tuned up, and sent out to you.